let's not beat around the bush, get the hell out of here. This video has been brought to you by NordVPN. Get 75% off a three-year plan at nordvpn.com slash domics and use the code domics for an extra free month. If English is not your native language, you may think it's difficult to learn. Well, as someone who grew up speaking English, let me just say, yes, yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. English sucks. It's confusing. There are too many rules and too many exceptions. I before E except on Tuesdays and during full moons or something. The birth of my channel literally begins with a video of how I hate pronouncing the word rural. And now, I'm going to complain about idioms. Idioms are a group of words established by a usage as having meaning not deducible from those of the individual words, blah blah blah. Basically, figures of speech, alright? Example, raining cats and dogs, meaning it's raining heavily, it's raining a lot, but it has nothing to do with cats and dogs. Who thought of this morbid metaphor? They could have chosen rocks, barrels, tires, anything else that was heavy and not alive. If someone told me it was raining tables and chairs outside, I'd be like, oh man, that's some heavy rain, I should probably stay inside. But if I found out cats and dogs were falling out of the sky, I'd be like, what the f are we waiting for, Jeremy? We gotta save them! Idioms help us express simple feelings in a more illustrated and colorful way. And yes, I did look into the origins of these sayings, but personally, some of them just don't make sense up front. Turn a blind eye, or refusing to acknowledge something which you know to be real. Pretend something didn't happen. Like when you catch your sibling trying to sneak out of the house after being grounded, and then they threaten you not to tell on them or else they'll punch you in your sleep. You turn a blind eye. Also, that's... That's blackmail. Okay, I get the blind eye part, but why do you need to turn it? If you're already blind, y you won't be able to see anyway whether or not you're turned. That's redundant. Either turn or be blind. They both accomplish the same level of visual ignorance. If it was turn an eye blind, now that makes sense. Ah, it's, it's just more morbid. Eat your heart out to feel great sadness, often used as a taunt towards someone to encourage jealousy or regret. My goodness, another gruesome idiom. It's bad enough that I have to take my heart out to be able to eat it, but then I gotta eat it. This expression is often used with the name of someone famous as if to make them feel jealous of your accomplishment. Hey, what do you think of my painting? Wow, look at that. Eat your heart out, Michelangelo, am I right? I'm already dead. In a pickle, to be in a troublesome situation. Look, you could have picked a ditch, a well, a chimney, anything that could contain a body. But a pickle? Hey, I got your message. Ran as fast as I can. Wh what's wrong? Just help me out, no questions asked. It's all downhill from here. Used to signify that the situation will only get worse from that point on. But going downhill's the best part! Think of all the things and activities you do going downhill. Skiing, sledding, biking, hell, walking? None of these are fun going uphill. I guess in its defense, the idiom could mean being out of control while going downhill, but honestly, you could be out of control at any level of steepness. I've fallen up the stairs just as much as I've fallen down them. Tickled pink, to be delighted. Yo, Reggie, got anything good for your birthday? Yeah, actually, my parents finally got me a Switch. Wow, you must be tickled pink. Yeah, you're right, I, I guess it only works for white people. Wouldn't be caught or seen dead. Used to express the extent of which one would never be in something, particularly clothes, places, or situations. Which I don't understand, because when you're dead, you, you shouldn't be able to feel anything, let alone embarrassment. Ugh, Cindy, look at her top. I wouldn't be caught dead wearing something so ugly, ugh. Oh, don't worry. I'll make sure they don't find your body. Happy as a clam, an exaggeration of happiness. The complete idiom is actually as happy as a clam at high tide because that's when they're least likely to be attacked by predators, but many go with a shortened version in reference to how clams look like they're always smiling. Uh, nope, I disagree. It's just the angle of which you're looking at them. If you look at them from this angle, it looks like they're frowning. And rightfully so, because I like clam chowder, and being delicious is not a compliment you should be smiling about. Goody two-shoes, used to refer to someone who always does everything right and follows the rules, to the point of annoyance. 
often used negatively. Well, I did you guys a favor and read the story of Goody Two Shoes to see why. Let me summarize it for you. Marjorie, Meanwell, and her brother were two homeless orphans. Marjorie grew up only wearing one shoe. One day, they meet a rich gentleman who buys her new clothes and a new pair of shoes. She was so excited and grateful that she exclaimed it to everyone she met, earning her name Goody Two Shoes. She believed the rich man was good and wise because of his great learning, and so she learned to read and help teach all the children in the village to learn as well. She prevented a man from being robbed and murdered because she warned him after overhearing some men plotting about it. She saved numerous animals from being abused by people. She was so wise and good that some idiots accused her of being a witch and put her under trial. She proves everyone wrong and continued being the goody two shoes badass that she is. Why is this used to make fun of people? I strive to be a goody two shoes, and you should too. Piece of cake or pie. An easy or simple task. There's nothing simple about a cake. There's so many different ways to make a cake. I guess if you don't care how it tastes, baking a cake or pie can be simple. But if the quality doesn't matter, then you could easily just use any other food as the idiom. Wow, that cake looks amazing. Did you really make that? <laughs> yeah, it was a piece of steak. What? Eat your heart out, Duff Goldman. Is that a, a famous chef or baker? That's a no-brainer. Okay, man. I just wanted to know if you made it. And Bob's your uncle. Okay, weirdo. Hey, 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 hey! What are you doing? They already know NordVPN is sponsoring this. But if you're unfamiliar with NordVPN, it's a virtual private network service that helps protect your privacy and security online, ensuring you browse the net anonymously with no data logging using military-grade encryption. With thousands of servers in over 61 countries, a lightweight user-friendly software, NordVPN lets you virtually be wherever you want in the world. Have more than one device, and no problemo! You can protect up to six devices at once. <laughs> no way! You're pulling my leg! Yes, but I'm telling the truth, and hurry because this deal will end in early September. If you've been on the fence about it, now's the time to decide. The ball is in your court. Again, that's nordvpn.com slash domix with the code domix for 75% off a three-year plan plus an extra month for free. Enjoy the new school year. Good luck. I mean, you suck. <laughs>